Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to ignore outliers in a ggplot2 box plot in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data that we can create with line 3 of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data object appears. And we can also have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data object and then you can see that our data frame consists of only one column and several numeric rows. Now if we want to draw plots with the ggplot2 package we also need to install and load the package as you can see in lines 5 and 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code the ggplot2 package is installed and loaded. I have installed the package already so I'm just going to load it with line 6 of the code and after running this line of code we will be able to apply the ggplot2 functions. In line 8 of the code I am creating a basic ggplot box plot with the default specifications. So if you run these two lines of code you will see that at the bottom right of RStudio a new ggplot is created and as you can see this plot is showing a box plot and this box plot has several outliers. Now let's assume that we want to create a box plot without these outliers. Then we can apply the code as you can see in lines 11 to 13 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new box plot is created at the bottom right and this time you can see that our box plot is shown without the outliers. Now what you also can see is that our box plot is shown much larger than before and this is because our y-axis is smaller than before. So if you compare this plot with the previous plot you will see that in the previous plot our y-axis had a range from minus 3 to plus 8 and uh, now the new plot has a y-axis with a range from 0 to 1. So uh, if you want to keep the same y-axis as before, you would also have to change this manually. So this is basically how to ignore outliers in a box plot with the ggplot2 package in R. I will put all this code in the description of the video so you could copy it from there. And furthermore, I will put a link to a tutorial on my homepage statisticsglobe.com into the description of this video because in this tutorial I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. So if you want more explanations on this topic then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.